Hello! Welcome! Today we are going to learn how to set up PC VR wireless streaming with the Vive XR Elite. I'm going to give you a whole walkthrough and guide on how to do this. Streaming PC VR means you get to play some of your favorite games like Half-Life Alex, Beat Saber, and personally one of my favorites is VR Chat. You will get to play all of those games wirelessly. I'm super excited to share this with you. This has been personally an amazing experience for me, and it's just an incredibly cool experience for anyone who's tried VR or thinking of trying VR should have the opportunity to be able to try at least once. Without further ado, let's hop straight into it. Step one is going to be to download Steam VR if you don't have it downloaded already. So we're going to go ahead and click install and you can save that wherever it works best for you and your computer. Next, you'll navigate to our Vive streaming app from the Vive website. And I'll leave that down in the description below for you to download the Vive streaming hub. We're going to click this little download arrow, Vive streaming. Once this is done downloading, you can go ahead and open it. And at this point in the video, you should have both Vive streaming hub installer downloaded as well well as Steam VR. Step number three is going to be to launch Vive Streaming Hub. It should launch automatically after you download it from the website, but if not, you can go down to your search bar and type in Vive Streaming Hub. As you can see here, I have Vive Streaming Hub. You will launch it. And once this is launched, you will also want to make sure that your PC is connected through an Ethernet cable. This is very crucial as when streaming wirelessly, it requires a lot of bandwidth because these are some really intense PC VR games. After you make sure your PC is hooked up, then we can hop into the Vive XR Elite headset for our next step. Once you are in the headset, you will navigate down to the gear icon, the settings, and then you'll scroll over to connectivity on the left, and you'll want to check your Wi-Fi network to make sure you are connected to the same network that your computer is wired to. This is crucial. Next, we'll wanna go down to computer connection. And once we are in computer connection, as I said, you can see a little notification down here showing you that yes, you do need to be in the same network. Super duper important. You should see a Vive Hub PC pop up. And this will be connected to your specific PC. Now, this will pop up when Vive Streaming is running. So if you don't see this here, double check to make sure that Vive Streaming is running. You could possibly restart your PC or the program if you have to because you don't see it popping up. After you click and connect to the Vive Hub PC, you should get a QR code that appears on your monitor and you'll go ahead and scan that with your headset. You can move around a little bit until it captures it correctly. Once it captures it correctly, it should say that you are connected. Next, we will go back down to our library. And in order to find your Steam games, you can go up to the VR install drop down menu up here and go to PC and you'll click installed and it will show everything you have downloaded within PC VR. So if there's a game you don't see here, make sure it's installed on your PC. And if you want to get to the classic Steam VR lobby where you have control over more things like your monitors or running things like Spotify, you can launch Steam VR. It will take a moment to load, but now as you can see, I am in our traditional Steam VR home environment where we can launch a game that we're interested in playing. Next, let's talk about some additional tips that I would recommend in order to get the best experience possible out of streaming PC VR wirelessly. First, we would recommend that you connect to Wi-Fi 6 or 6E, and if that option is not available to you, we would recommend Wi-Fi 5 next. If you're unsure about what kind of connection your router has, you can call your internet provider or possibly look it up online to figure out that information. Another tip is when you're playing wirelessly, you will get the best performance the closer you are to your router. So try to play in the same room as your router if you can, if you would like to increase your connection. Next, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, something that can really help with having the best performance, you will open your NVIDIA control panel by right clicking on NVIDIA and opening that up. Navigate to manage 3D settings and when you scroll down, find power management mode and go ahead and click here, a drop down will show up and select prefer maximum performance. This could additionally help with PC VR wireless streaming. And as another tip, if your router doesn't have a stable connection, you can always try utilizing the Vive streaming cable, which I will link down below in the description in order to make things smoother. If you have any further questions about streaming PC VR wirelessly, make sure to leave a comment down below so we can help get those questions answered. And also, which PC VR game are you most excited to stream wirelessly? For me, it's going to be Beat Saber. I can't wait. 
And if you're interested in learning about more cool features that the Vive XR Elite has to offer, make sure you check out this video next, which is eight game-changing features the Vive XR Elite has to offer. Bye! My hair.